Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the uh, COVID Friday, 2nd of October. Obviously, Trumpy uh, and his wife tested positive. Things went a little haywire there. Uh, let's have a look. Here's the dollar czar chart. Craziness, right? So we were down at 64, up to 80, back down to 65. Um, very, very illiquid. Obviously, this time of day, uh, not too many people are playing, or not as many people were playing. Very thin markets, very thinly traded currency pair. This is an interesting pivot now up at 80. So as this news gets digested, depending on which way it goes, um, I assume as we digest it, it's going to be become more negative for risk. Now we're going to deal with like a bunch of conspiracy theories and a bunch of this and a bunch of that. But uh, we like buying dollars are entering into longs if we make a new high now up through 80. We see that as a pivot. We talked on Twitter a little bit about how um, euro dollar longs counterintuitively might get punched in the face here. Depending on what kind of steam this news gets. Um, risk managers and people want to protect profits or protect positions or move positions to square. I think the largest FX position out there is um, long euro. And so prices down through 95 and especially down through 83, this is where stops will be. If you look at the four hourly chart, um, we all talked about buying euros down here. We wanted confirmation. That confirmation was up through 85. I think that was a Monday trade, right? And, you know, the reason I think like this is because I think like everybody else thinks uh, who's been in this business for 30 years. And so. You know, you just put yourself in their shoes, right? You're running a fund, you're running some risk, whatever. Where's your stop? You've already been 100 points in the money. Your stop's probably a break even. Um, and again, depending on how this news is digested, this is one of those um, sort of outlier pieces of news. If you think about the overall uh, health of Trump, his age, um, and then you balance that out with uh, obviously he's going to get great medical treatment. Uh, you just kind of have to weigh this and say what's going to happen with 30 days from an election. I think at the minimum this is going to be quite chaotic. So uh, anyway, let's keep an eye uh, on Euro especially as we if we start sniffing out downside again right now at 30 you don't really want to fade it we have some small uh, euro yen on but just be wary you certainly don't want to fade this I think down through 85 there should be a little bit of a, a waterfall down there anyway cables not doing too much Bojo's probably uh, sitting there going, yeah, I know how this feels. He obviously had COVID before. He was also, uh, you know, fairly unhealthy dude. So, knows exactly what's going on. Dollar Swiss, as you can imagine, got thumped, but in a sort of minor thumpy way, right? 20 points, 30 points. Uh, but this would be the old-fashioned classic by Swiss Franks. We're more on the yen side, mainly just because um, we've been talking about this 105.20 level for a long, long time. We sold down through 105.40, um, trying to stay core short dollar yen, a little bit of euro yen as we go forward. Euro Aussie, big, big bounce. Um, this one's been a bit of a thorn in our side this week. We did go home long some Euro Aussie last night, and that was just a lucky, uh, lucky trade. Traded up to 21. We do think eventually this uh, 165.90 is going to trade. Um, 
can you position for that here at 163.90? I don't think so. Um, but this is one way to express risk off, um, especially if you feel like euro is going to hold up. We squared our our euro Aussie because we're worried about euro downside. This would be more traditional risk off. Aussie was down to 30. Should be resistance back up here at 70. This was this was sort of like the congestion zone between 60 and 75. Dollar CAD gonna build a little right shoulder here. Um, the hockey players when they get in are gonna buy this up through 28. And then gold, as you can imagine, safe haven play. Um, 96 to 26. It's decent, right? It's a 30 buck move. Um, gold could, could could continue to go higher. But keep in mind, long gold, short dollar yen is the same trade. ZB, as you can imagine, playing this on the short side yesterday. Thankfully we squared, but we will be selling this again. Um, this is just sort of a counterintuitive, but it's more of a fundamental position. And so, irregardless what happens to the U.S. president, we feel like uh, bonds are fucked. And so, every day we're trying to just pick a place to sell stretch highs or sell highs. Today it's going to be up here at 177.10. All right, that's all I got for you. Obviously busy here. Just for continuity's sake, I wanted to throw a video out there. Good luck uh, trading today, and we will uh, see you Monday. And don't forget non-farms. Quickly on non-farms, average hourly earnings um, is the big mover today, not the number. Uh, but everything is now secondary. You want to watch your news flow about uh, how old Trumpy's doing.